Hello again, YouTubers and Card Fight fans. 24-7 here again for Card Fight 24-7 with our box opening video brought to you by ToyGameEmporium.com. For today's box opening, we have our fourth box of Volume 6 Breaker of Limits to be opened on this channel. If you want to see the other three, just search our channel, or I may have anti links on the screen, not sure. Depends on if I remember in that. Um, each box, of course, has 30 packs. Um, in the first three boxes, we got the same, one of the same triple in every box. We've yet to get the signature card of the set, which is a big bummer. We definitely want to get the Izel for ourselves, because I would like to use that in decks as well myself. And we'd like to have extras, if possible, to have on toygamerprim.com for people to buy, but that probably won't be happening in the very near future unless I buy like a hundred boxes of these and just open a whole crap ton. But I'm open enough as it is right now. I'll just start. I, we have singles on the website right now, but until things really explode, if they do with sales and stuff, I don't want to get too, too much of it. So we'll see how it goes. So basically if you want to see better variety of stuff on the site, help out and buy cards you need from toyginnerform.com, so I have the budget to buy more and get bigger quantities and better cards and stuff like that. So like typical here, obviously I'm cutting off the tops of all the packs first. Makes things go a little bit faster in my opinion than doing it one at a time because I can do cut two or three at a time this way. And using the perforated edge never works out all that well for me and ends up being more of, of a hassle than anything. So couple more cuts here and we will be good to go um, don't have any SPs from this set yet I've only gotten two SPs total ever thus far in real life time again don't know what order I'm uploading my videos in I've been recording a bunch of videos the past several days so let's just get down to business here then we won't be showing the comments to do that in the first box opening of this set so first pack here, we've got Lizard Soldier Shai Shin Rare. Second pack, we've got Mobile Hospital Feather Palace of Angel Feather. Mage of Calamity Trip. Need one more of her for a gold paladin deck potentially. Not sure what build we're doing yet. As I'm opening this, my friend's in the other room actually making the gold paladin deck right now. So, Crimson Lion Cub Kirf. So, we need a few more copies of some of the gold paladins. It'd be nice if we could have the Azel, but we'll see what happens. Here we got Double Rare Death Seeker Thanatos of Grand Blue. Don't think I've had this one yet in the first three boxes. You may flip over one damage and retire this unit. When this unit's attack hits a vanguard, if you have a grand blue vanguard, you may pay the cost. And if you do choose a grand blue other than a card named Death Seeker Thanatos from your drop zone, and call it to rear guard. So, there you go. Next up, we've got regular rare, Demonic Dragon Berserker Garuda. Regular rare gold paladin, knight of superior skills, ball mains, the vanilla grade two. Triple rare battle cupid Nokia, I think it is. Don't not sure if I had that one in triple rare yet or not, but I know it's not one of the better ones, not the one we're after at least. So you can read that if you wish. There you go. Continue right along here then. We've got Riot General Gyrus. Gyrus, not positive on that. Single rare, Photon Bomber Wavern. Thunderstorm Dragoon, a vanilla for Narukami. Oh, I thought it was an SP for a second. Double rare of Love Machine Gun Nokia. I noticed it looks similar to that, but different backgrounds. So I thought it was the same card, but an SP. Um, choose an Angel Feather from your hand and put it in your damage zone. This unit is placed on rear guard. If you have an Angel Feather Vanguard, you pay that cost. And if you do choose a card from your damage zone, put it in your hand. And the stage one here has the same ability. 
yeah so not really positive why the stage one oh unless you just placed on guard you can do that ability so different grades and different abilities as far as where they are played when they go off but very similar cards nonetheless single rare of player of the holy axe nimu so one triple rare two double rares so far should get three triple rares and five double rares so got several more goodies to find Beastie white tiger then you can find our first SP for this set as well. There we go. Triple rare, incandescent lion, blonde as L. That's what we wanted. Would be even better if it was an SP, but I will take it for sure. I'm going to pause there and read the ability if you want, but one of the best cards in the set and currently in existence, really, at least in English. So it's definitely a very sweet pull. So just like that, this is quite possibly our best box of Breaker Limits thus far. So very cool. And then we got Desert Gunner Rayan or Ryan or whatever. So on to the second half of the box then. And we've got double rare of Slegal Dagger, Gold Paladin. If you have four more other Gold Paladin rear guards, it gets plus 2,000 until the end of turn. So you can be at 9,000 potentially. So that's our third double rare. Mobile Hospital Feather Palace again. Had that one already, so that's a duplicate from within this one individual box. Double Rare, Dragonic Death Scythe. When this unit is placed on Vanguard or Rear Guard Circle, if you have a Narrow Kami Vanguard, you pay the cost of flipping over two damage. And if you do, choose one of your opponent's grade two or less Rear Guards and retire it. So, similar to Blaster Blade. Next up, we've got Drill Bullet Genial, Genial, something. Single Rare, the Phoenix Calamity Flame of Angel Feathers. Double Rare, Vajra Emperor Indra. We flip over one damage when this unit attacks, you pay that cost. And if you do, it gets plus one critical for each unit named Vajra Emperor Indra in your rear guard until end of that battle. So, at best, it can be uh, three critical if you have three of these all in the front row, or oddly in the back row where they can't even boost, but yeah. So that's five double rares. So out of all these remain packs, we should have one triple rare and a bunch of rares, or maybe an SP. Gatling shot Barbio. Fate Healer Ergodial, single rare. And SP, Beast Deity, Azura Dragon. Awesome. And that's not one of the worst ones, that's for sure. And it's normally a triple rare, so very awesome. Give you a look there at the SP pattern for this set, since we have not had one before. Awesome. So this, hands down, is definitely officially now our best box of Breaker Limits so far, with this being our fourth box opened. Very cool. And now... Probably be, I don't know if it's upload, it was probably uploaded before this video. My fourth box of Extra Booster Volume 3, we got an SP and it replaced a single rare, so we'll see what happens here. Got Miracle Feather Nurse. I'm hoping it actually replaces a single rare, not a triple rare, but I think usually they do replace triple rares, at least in these non extra booster sets, but we'll see. Master Swordsman Nightstorm. Skeleton Demon World Knight. Deadly Spirit. And our last pack then. Will it be a triple rare or a single rare? It looks like a single rare. Three Star Chef Petro. So in this case, the SP does indeed replace a triple rare, but the SP we got is of a triple rare, so it's all good. I'll give you one last look here then. SP of Beast Deity Azura Dragon. Triple Rare of Incandescent Lion Blonde Azel. Awesome. Battle Cupid Nokio Triple Rare. And then Double Rares of Vajra Emperor Indra. Dragonic Death Scythe. Slegal Dagger. And Love Machine Gun Nokio. And Death Seeker Thanatos. So, if you haven't already done so, 
please subscribe. You can then get email alerts for all of our future video uploads here on Card Fight 24-7. Give this video a big thumbs up for an awesome box opening of Breaker Limits with an SP and a Zell Triple Rare. Very awesome box. Uh, check out ToyGamingInform.com for all your Card Fight Vanguard and our toy and gaming needs. Singles for basically all the available English sets should be in stock now on there, ToyGamingInform.com. And you can also like us on Facebook, Card Fight 24-7. Links for all that is in the video description box below. So I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next video.